me share my screen now. So, hope nakikita po, na, na, nakikita niyo po ang screen. Nakikita niyo po ba ang screen po? Kaya meron po pang isang pwedeng sumagot? Yes, sir. Okay, let's start. So, yes, for this, is, this will be the first week of our Mathematics 10 for the school year 2021 to 2022. And you will be our uh, students for grade 10. Okay po. So, welcome to Mathematics grade 10. Okay po. And this is our first quarter. Our first topic for this quarter will be sequence. Okay po. So, ano nga ba ang sequence na natawag natin? A sequence is a set of numbers written in a specific order. Okay po. So, alam natin ng grade 7 pa lang tayo, meron tayo mga tinatawag na set. Set is a group of elements. Okay po. But the difference between a, a simple set to a sequence, yes, a as a sequence is a set, but it follows a specific order. Hindi, hindi, hindi sila pwedeng mag because they follow a certain pattern, okay po, a certain order. Okay po. So, ano ba ang bumubuo sa isang sequence? Tandaan natin na katulad po na meron tayo sa taas na to, uh, may mga elements tayo sa ating pong, um, sequence na ito. At ang bawat element ng laman ng ating sequence ay tinatawag nating term. Okay, so we have this first term, second term, third term, fourth term, and so on and so forth. Name as A1, A2, A3, A4, and so on and so forth. The last one will be named as A sub N. A sub N. Please take note. This will be sub N, not A N. Sub N. Mas maliit po na N. The number A sub 1 is the co called the first term, second term, and the last term. And the last one will be the N term. Hey go. Kung mapapansin natin, um, dito sa grupong ito, it follows a certain pattern. Okay po, kung mapapansin natin, we have our triangle, another triangle, then we have our circle, uh, oblong, then we have our rectangle. Next will be another triangle, another triangle, then oblong, then we have our rectangle. So what do you think is the next shape? Triangle. It will be a triangle. But saan, saan natin nakuha yung idea na yun? Kasi doon sa mga naunang given na terms, may nakita tayong specific pattern na sinusunod. Okay? Nang, ang pagkakasunod-sunod niya is triangle, triangle, oblong, rectangle. Triangle, triangle, oblong, tri rectangle. So ibig sabihin, alam natin or na, nabubuo natin yung sa, ang idea natin na na hindi yung hindi yung mababago dahil this is sequence and dahil may may pattern tayong sinusunod alam mo na kung ano ang mga posibleng sumunod kahit hindi pa naman ito nakasulat talaga okay po so ibig sabihin uh, triangle triangle oblong triangle rectangle triangle triangle oblong rectangle then alam natin ang susunod diyan ay Triangle, then another triangle, then another oblong, then another rectangle, and so on and so forth. Okay, po. So there are two kinds of sequence. Ano po yung dalawa nating kinds of sequence? The first one is we have the infinite, infinite sequence, and we have our finite sequence. Okay, po. Infinite and finite. Ano pinagkaiba po ng infinite at finite? When we talk about finite, ibig sabihin po nito, uh, our terms are countable. Kaya natin bilangin kung ilang terms ang meron tayo sa sequence. While our infinite sequence ay hindi natin kayang bilangin. Katulad po ng finite na to, finite sequence, we have the call, uh, column for the finite sequence. We have 12, 15, 17, 19, 21, and dot, 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 ibig sabihin so on up to 27. Ibig sabihin, kahit sa, hindi natin alam kung ano yung nasa loob ng 21 to 27, madadili natin ma, 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 malalaman kung ilan talaga ang laman niya. Dahil um, alam natin saan siya magtatapos. Okay po. Sa tulad nito, sa ilan ang laman ng finite sequence natin na ito? The first time is 12, then 15, then 17, then 19, then 21. Following the pattern, makikita natin na nadadagdagan siya ng ilan kaya? 
12, 15, plus 3, plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. Okay po. So, more or less, nag-plus 3 siya nung una, plus nag-plus 2, nag-plus 2, nag-plus 2. So, alam natin na ang mga susunod dyan ay plus 2 na ulit. Okay po. So, we have the 21, then the, 20, the 21, then the 25, then the 27. So, nakarating tayo sa dulo. Mabibilang natin kung ilan yung kasama niya. So, that will be... 12, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, then 25, 27. So there are eight terms of the sequence. Na to. Kung susundin naman natin yung sabunod, which is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, napaka-specific na agad nat ng binigay. Kita na agad natin kung ilan ang terms na naroon, which is isang 1, pangalawang 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. So, ibig sabihin, there are seven terms sa ating pong sequence na to. And the last one, this is be the 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. There are five fives sa loob po na ating sequence. So, there are five terms. Unlike with the second group, which is the infinite sequence, we have the 3, 5, 7, 11. Uh, 7, 9, 11. Alam natin. Alam natin na nakikuha natin yung pattern na meron siyang nag-plus to tayo. ba? So, from 3, nag-plus to siya, nag-5. Nag-plus to ulit siya, nag-7. Nag-plus to ulit siya, nag-9. Nag-plus to ulit siya, nag-11. Yes, alam natin mga posibleng maging sagot. Pwede yung sagot niya na 13, then 15, then 17. Pero ang question dyan, dahil may dot, dot, dot siya sa dulo at walang number sa dulo, uh, wala, walang walang number after the ellipsis na tinatawag natin, hindi natin alam kung saan siya matatapos. Ibig sabihin, it's infinite. Hindi natatapos na sequence. Okay po? So, I think it's very obvious naman the difference between finite sequence and the infinite sequence. Any question about finite and infinite? Maliwanag ko ang finite at infinite. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, okay. Of course, sir. Let's continue. Okay, po. Now, let's go with the finding terms. The next term. Okay, find the next term of the sequence 19, 24, 29, 34. The idea here is to look for the pattern. Ano ba yung pattern na sinusunod sa ating pong given? Okay po, tandaan natin, katulad nga na sinabi ko nung una, dahil this is sequence, napaka-importante ng pagkakasunod-sunod niya. Kasi kung yan ay rumble numbers, maraming pwede maging pattern. Okay, but since this is sequence, napaka-definite ng kanyang uh, pagkakasunod-sunod. Dahil may sinasabi ang kanyang pagkakasunod-sunod. Ngayon, the first number is 19 followed by 24. Ano kaya ang nangyari sa 19? Bakit siya naging 24? Yes, for Mark. Sir, nag-add ng 5, sir. Yes, that's ang um, unang observation natin, nag-add siya ng 5. But we can't uh, we cannot uh, uh, assured at the god. Hindi tayo pwedeng magpasigurado na yun ang sunod na mangyayari. Okay? Ang magagawa lang natin is to recheck. After 24, 5 pa rin ba ang na-add natin? Patulad po nito, 19, 24, Sabi natin ni Mark kanina nag-add ng 5. Tama ba mag a add siya ng 5? So that's 19, 24, plus 5, 29. Plus 5, 34. So ibig sabihin, meron talaga tayong pattern na sinusunod. So what will be the next number? It will be, yes, ready po yung sumagot? 39, sir. 39 followed by? 43. 44, then 49, 44. then 54, then 59. So, nakuha nyo, nakuha nyo po yung idea na nag add lang siya ng 5. Bahad ko po sinabi na hindi porket nakita mo na yung una ay nag-plus 5, sigurado ka na, na yun ang mangyayari. There are, there are moments kasi na may panggulo. Ano pong ibig, ibig ko sabihin? Example, 2, then 4. Kung dalawa lang ang given natin, maraming posibleng maging idea bakit si 2 ay naging 4. Okay? Bakit si 2 ay naging 4? Pwede natin sabihin nag-plus 2 siya at pwede rin namin sabihin natin nag-times 2 siya. 
para malaman natin kung ano talaga nangyari, kailangan natin ng pangatlong term. Kung ito ay 6, then alam mo na agad na ang nangyayari dito ay nagpla-plus to siya, hindi nagta-times 2. So this will be 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6. Then you can write the next term which is 8, then 10. Pero kung yun ay 2, 4, 8, hindi yan plus 2. ba? Diba? Kasi kung plus 2 yan, dapat 6. Ano nangyari dito? It is multiple, uh, it was multiplied by 2. Kasi 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. Then what will be the next number? 16 po. 16, then it will be? 32. 32, then 64, then 128. So ibig sabihin, the minimum number, the minimum number in a given sequence is 3. There should be minimum of 3 terms para ma-identify natin kung ano talaga ang nangyayari. Okay po, please take note of that ha. The minimum number of terms to be considered as a sequence ay 3. Okay po tayo doon. Let's have the next one. Let's have the next one. Right. So, what is the next term in the sequence 6, 12, 24, 48? So, kung ang titignan natin ay 6 times, uh, 6 at 12, kung dalawa lang yan, pwede natin sabihin na plus 6 yan. Diba? Pero may sunod na number kasi, it's 24. Dapat consistent ang mga nangyayari. So, hindi siya pwedeng plus 6. Kasi 6 plus 6, 12, Plus 6, 18. Eh, hindi eh. 24. So, ano kaya ang posibleng consistent na nangyayari? Ano kaya ang consistent na nangyayari? Anyone? Yes, Michelle. Ano yan? No? Times 2 po. Na times 2. Check. Let's check kung tama nga So, 6 times 2, 12. Times 2, 24. Times 2, 48. Correct. So, alam mo na ala, agad yung mga posibleng mag- sumunod na number which is 48, then 96, 96, then 192, and so on and so forth. Okay po. So, you should observe okay po, the first three term to confirm ano, pa ta- ano ba talaga ang nangyayari. Clear po tayo doon? Yes, sir. Apo, sir. Okay. Yeah. Next. Now, there are there there are instances, there are instances na walang pinigay na term. Pero the given is the prevailing formula. Okay po, prevailing formula. Which is in here, in here a sub n is equals to 3n minus 2. That is the prevailing formula para makuha natin ang mga terms na kailangan natin. So, how do we do or how do we find the first four term in a given rule? Okay po. In that case, we have to give value for n. At ano po yung ginagamit nating value? The bare base, uh, the basic uh, value says na gagamitin natin ay 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so on. Kung, kung first three terms, so that's 1, 2, 3. Kung first four terms, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4. And so on and so on. Kung first five, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Since the, since the problem asks for the first four terms, so we'll be using the value of 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So paano natin nahanapin ang ating pong apat? So the first one will be using the value of a sub n is equals to 3n equals minus 2, where n is equals to 1. Is equal to 1. Ba? So, ang gagawin lang natin, all we have to do is to substitute the value of 1 sa n. So, that will be 3 times 1 minus 2. So that will be 3 minus 2. But po naging 3, that's 3 times 1. That's 3 
3 minus 2, that's 1. So our first term is, this will be a sub 1 equals 1. Okay? Let's go with the second term. Since we'll be using the, sec the same formula, a, 3, a, so that's 3n minus the paren, pero magbibigay tayo ng value ng n equals 2. So this will be a sub 2. Ito pala para po tayo malinaw. This is a sub 1. A sub 1, nagbibigay tayo ng value ng n, di ba? n nga natin ay 2. So a sub 2 is, equals to, is equal to 3 times 2 minus 2. So a sub 2 will be 3 times 2, 6 minus 2. Then our a sub 2 will be 4. Did you get the pattern? Nakukuha po ang process? Yes, po. sir. Okay po. That's same, same formula. A sub n equals 3n minus 2. Still the same uh, formula. But here, we'll be using n equals 3. Since n equals 3, ang gagamitin na natin ay a sub 3. Kasi ang n nga raw po ay 3. So, lahat ng n ay papalta natin. That will be 3 times 3 minus 2. So, that will be 9 coming from 3 times 3 minus 2. Tandaan, we have, we have to follow the PEMDAS rule. So, that will be 7. And our third term, which is a sub 3, equals 7. And for the last one, we have the a sub n equals same formula, minus 2, where n equals 4. So, ibig sabihin, we'll be looking for a sub 4. Tama? A sub 4. So, that will be 3 times 4. Pinalitan natin yung n ng 4, minus 2. Okay, so this will be 3 times 4, that will be 12, minus 2. So that our a sub 4, for final answer, we have the a sub 4 equals 10. So our uh, first four term is 1, 4, 7, and 10. That will be our final answer. That is our first four term. Any question? No. None, sir. Okay, po. Clear, clear po tayo? Po. Okay, po. So yun lang po ang basic, natin, po. basic question natin. Yun yung basic idea na kailangan yung makuha for this week. Okay? Uh, if you, uh, meron po tayong question? Meron po ba tayong question? Wala po. Wala po. Clear po tayo dyan. Okay? Apo. So, let's have another one. Gawa lang natin na mas madaling paraan. What if the value is a sub n equals n plus 1? Yan. n plus 1 daw ang given natin. Give the first four term. So, that will be Kung a sub 1 yan, so that will be 1 plus 1. So that will be a sub 1 equals 2. Diba? Kung a sub 2 ang hinahalap mo, dahil 2 ang pinalit mo sa n, so this will be 2 plus 1. 2 plus. So that a sub 2 will be 3. Diba? 3. If we have a sub 3, ang hinahanap natin, same formula, dahil n, 3 ang pinalit mo sa n, so 3 din ipapalit mo dito sa n dito, that will be 3 plus 1, that will be a sub 3 equals 4. And last one, a sub 4, so that will be 4 plus 1, so a sub 4 equals 5. So our final answer... 
is two, three, two, four, three, four, five. Four, five. Clear? Any question? Papa, sir. Clear. Wala na pong tanong. I'm inter now, is there a chance na magtanong kung meron tayong tanong? Meron po pong pong tanong? Wala na po. Wala na po. Wala, sir. Okay po. So, let me, let me clear po na kung ano ang gagawin nyo. So, for this week, I'll be asking you to answer this one. Okay? So, an old woman is is overweight her doctor told her that her uh, her to decrease 35 kilos decrease it is in if she lost 11 kilos on the first week nine kilos on the second week and seven kilos on the third week if she continues at this rate how long will it take to lose 35 kilos okay, po. so lalagyan niyo lang po ng number ilan na uh, na weight uh, na, nabawas niya sa one sa two sa 3, sa 4, at sa 5. Following the following the ano, the sequ the sequence, kailan po kaya siya magkakaroon ng na total na nabawas na 35 na kilos. Kailangan niyo nang sagutin niya. So kailangan niyo ipakita okay, sa akin ang table. Okay? Ang table. At hanggang kailan lang siya maglulus ng weight. Tandaan, ang maximum na weight natin ay 35. Okay? For the next one, for letter okay. E, you just have to write F if that is finite and I if infinite. Okay? That's learning task one. Okay? Letter okay. For letter B, you just have to write uh, our next three terms. Kung ano yung tatlong term na nawawala. Okay? Ano next tatlong term na nawawala. Okay? Clear? Apa. Letter C, find the first four term in the sequence. But please take note, I am not only asking for the answer. For letter C, I'll be asking you to show your solution. No solution, okay, no correct answer. Clear? Okay, pa. Apa. No solution. So, ibig sabihin, this okay, is pa. worth, letter C is worth 20 points. 20 points po ito. Okay? Please be careful for letter B, kapag nagkamali kayo ng isang number dyan, di ba tatlo yung hinihingi natin? Kapag nagkamali Apo. kayo ng isang number dyan, mali po. Lahat. Kasi this is a sequence. Tanda Ay, natin, po, hindi na. pwedeng magkamali ng kahit isang okay. number kasi masisira ang sequence. Okay? So this is 10 points, but letter C is 20 points. Apo. Okay po. And this is the last one, which is you just have to answer it. Ano po? You just have to answer it one or two sentences. Kung ano po. One or two sentences ay pwede na. Okay? Kung ano lang po ang feel nyo sasagot. Nakuha nyo ba? Ano po ba yung problema? Para lang po mag-guide natin sa mga susunod na babasa ko, ano po yung nakita nyo sa lesson na to. Okay? One or two sentences lang per number. Kung isang sentence lang, okay lang po. Kung dalawang sentence, okay lang po. Okay? Okay. Any question? Clear na po tayo? Sure. Apo. Yes po. Yes. Sure. Clear na po. Yes, Mark. Brian. Sir, yung number 10 sa B, pa ano po yung gagawin din, sir? Number left B sa B. Meron yung number ano, given. May given yun. Blank. Coma, blank, coma, blank, coma. So ano kaya ang kasunod? May pattern pa rin doon. Though walang number, may pattern. Okay? Sir, so, si lang po may solution. Pa? Si lang po may solution. Sa ano po, papel po natin isasagot? Dan, papel. Sir, copy and answer po. No po. Answer only except, except, for the letter C that I require C. computation. Okay, sir. Answer na lang. Hindi nyo ito kailangan kopyahin pa ang mga gita. Okay? 
sure yung activity 4, yung nauna, kauna-unahan, kailangan ko ng table. At sagutin yung question na main question. Okay, Any questions so far? Clear po tayo? Apo, sir. Okay po. So let me start answering. Bagus po, if you're finished, if you're finished, um, you can send the picture, the picture of your answer. Tandaan natin, kapag pinadala niyo po sa akin, it's your final answer. Okay po. I'll okay, accept. Po. Okay po. Kung gusto niyo po machekan agad, pwede okay, na po ipadala yung uh, picture ng final answer niyo. So thank you very much for attending. You can uh, send questions sa ating GC if you have any inquiries. So goodbye and thank you. Bye, sir. Good Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for attending. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye po. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.